Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we have a break action only loadout that we have taken out into Rancho Multiplayer. We're going to be using the 7mm break action, the 338 break action, and the break action over and under 12 gauge shotgun. And this should cover pretty much everything except for maybe the coyotes and the bobcats. So that's a little bit unfortunate that we can't get those, but I mean if we use the buckshot we probably still can. But... That's obviously going to be a little bit difficult, but that right there is a level 4 mule deer that's actually a pretty good size, so I figure we will start things off with this guy right here. Should be a decent scoring one. I would imagine probably high 200s, maybe even low 300s if we're lucky, so let's get him down. And the 7mm takes these down pretty quickly. It's definitely the best gun that you can use on the mule deer besides maybe the drilling rifle, and it just gets the job done really nicely. So there's our buck right there, and that is a beautiful mule deer. I'm gonna go ahead and check this guy out. 297.20, so it was very close to being 300 plus. And this is definitely one of my favorite level 4 racks. I think it looks really good. Uh, there is one that has slightly longer stickers off the sides that uh, scores a little bit higher, but this guy doesn't have those. Still a very good way to start off, and a beautiful mule deer. Well, it looks like we got either a albino or a piebald. I can't really tell, but it is just a doe, sadly. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but we'll definitely take it down. In fact, I think that might be an albino. It's so hard to tell from this distance that I just really don't know at this point, but I think it looks more albino than piebald, but I guess we'll find out shortly. Uh, that is... Definitely albino actually. That's pretty cool. Now. It's in a really terrible spot um, I do have the 22 on me just to do the 22 trick We're not actually going to shoot anything with it because this is a break action only video But we can at least try to get it out of that area Hopefully that worked um, Doesn't look like it sadly Yeah, it definitely didn't and we accidentally hit another one. Let's see if we can maybe save this. I think that since it's a doe, we'll probably just shoot it the second it becomes visible. And she should be coming out somewhere close to here. And yeah, there she is. I don't actually know how that missed. Well, another mystery. Let's try to figure out what happened there and not let that happen again. Now after taking a closer look at things that happened, it does appear that the deer was actually 391 meters away, which is a lot farther than I initially thought, and that's how we ended up missing that shot. Now, another thing I wanted to real quickly mention is we're probably not going to just hunt Rancho. We will most likely hop to Verhunga Savannah also, even though it's got some audio issues at the moment. I want to jump over there just because it's been a while since I've hunted on Verhunga, and that'll give us a chance to use the 338. And I think it'll be quite a bit of fun. We'll just have to hope that we can avoid any audio disappearing issues and stuff like that. And provided we can avoid that, it should be a good time. Well, it seems that that doe refuses to come back, and with there being some white tail right here, I think we'll just go ahead and move on. I'm not really too worried about an albino doe because I wouldn't have kept it anyway. We don't have any room in our lodges for female rares unless they go into multi mounts, so we're just going to pass her up and see if we can find something else. Oh, here they come. So there may not be anything super big in this uh, group of white tail, but. Considering we're able to call them in, I think we're just going to blast a couple with the buckshot so that we can get some use out of that. Uh, because I don't think we'll get too many more opportunities where we can do that. This is going to be pretty cool right here. Provided we can get a buck close enough, it seems to be primarily does and oh my gosh, hello there. That's what we needed to see. And the second one might have got smoked too. It's... Honestly, kind of hard to say. And we definitely missed that shot, but this guy right here got absolutely dropped on the spot, and man, that is a lot of damage right there. That is a lot of damage. That thing dropped on the spot with a liver, stomach, and left lung from nine hits of buckshot. 
That right there is pretty awesome. I'd like to get a diamond or a rare close enough to do that because the 12 gauge buckshot is just something else, honestly. It's way better than the 20 gauge buckshot, that's for sure, and we actually did get vitals on this second buck. That's kind of crazy. I didn't think that we did. And we even hit the third. What is going on? I'm actually super surprised. How did we manage that? I didn't even think we hit that last one because it didn't react to the shot at all. That's impressive. I am definitely impressed with this buckshot. And both of our bucks are down here. This guy got, looks like, maybe one or two hits to the lung. I mean, it says seven hits in flesh and left lung, but it's actually hard to tell how many of them were in the lung. So that's a little unfortunate. And, oh, that explains that we didn't hit the buck. We hit a random doe. Well, I guess that's why uh, it didn't look like that buck got hit, because it didn't get hit. Oh my gosh, look at that guy right there. That is an insane looking ram. That's gotta be Bighorns. Like, there's no way that that is not Bighorns, just by the look of it from right here. I was about to leave this location because there was just nothing good coming out. And then that guy walks out of the bushes. I actually do want to spot those coyotes real quickly. Just in case there's something good in those, if it'll let me, which it won't, so guess we will not worry about those for now. We gotta make sure we get this guy down though, because that's a beautiful ram. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, we also have a level 3 antelope jackrabbit in pretty much the same area. I've been looking for one of these for so long, and now we come down here on this multiplayer server and we got ourselves a rabbit and that bighorn. I don't know what to shoot first. I think we gotta shoot the bighorn first. Because I feel like the rabbit's not gonna run too far, but this guy might run quite a ways. This is the second time that we have been on a server, come down to this hot spot, and found two really insane trophies very close together. It seems like this area is just golden for stuff like that, which is why it's been my favorite spot ever since Rancho first released into early access. And we even have some mule deer over there, but Let's go ahead and focus on this guy first. And we somehow missed. Um, 215, that should not have dropped too low. I'm not going to take a risky shot while he's running, so let's not worry about that till he gets back. I still can't believe we missed that shot. I would have thought it would have at least clipped the bottom of the lung, but I guess not. Uh, let's try to figure out which rabbit it is we need. I honestly don't even remember at this point. I think it's over here further. Our shots are just not on point today. That's the second shot that we have missed on something that I thought I was dialed in perfectly for. That's our rabbit right there at 239. So I think we have to aim like right here. I'm not 100% sure though. And third time's the charm. At least we got it. Now we just gotta wait for that bighorn to come back. I'm not gonna claim that thing until we get this bighorn. Because the chance the chances of him coming back and spooking off as we're trying to claim that rabbit are pretty high, so we are just going to wait for him to come back. You know, as much as I wanted this to be a break action only video, I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity to take out a rabbit with the 22, especially one that we've been looking for for a while now. Uh, it's something that Probably wasn't going to work out if we hadn't have just took it like that because chances of us getting him and then spooking off the ram were pretty high and unfortunately we missed the shot on the ram but he should come back in no time then we'll be able to take another shot. Well the rabbits are starting to come back but I don't see our bighorn yet. Uh, there's something right there. You know, that actually might be the bighorn. I think they're back, but they're just not in the same spot. I think that's definitely the case here. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. We're gonna have to try and get a different angle. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but hopefully it doesn't completely fall apart. It's definitely the same rams, because that guy is nervous, and there's the other one. So that big five's gotta be close to them. I couldn't imagine it being that far away. Unfortunately, I'm getting some pretty heavy lag in this area as always, which definitely didn't help with 
aiming at that big horn the first time, but hopefully second time will go much smoother. Uh, that is him. That is him right there. Uh, that is some brush in the way also. So this is going to be interesting. There is honestly no easy way to do this. Pretty much every angle we try is going to have some kind of brush in the way. Our best bet is just to try this right here and hope that we don't end up hitting the brush and hope that we can just get a chest shot. If we can get a frontal shot that would work out probably as good as we could possibly have it work out. So let's just make sure his head's up and... That should be a dead ram right there, and maybe? Yeah, it looks like he just went down, so I think we got single lung. Let's go claim him first, and then we'll go grab the rabbit, because this looked like a pretty big ram, and I'm sure we'll end up finding another rabbit, so I'm going to prioritize this ram first. There he is. That is a beautiful ram, and that is some nice vital blood, and that is definitely the big horns, because... With the big horns, they have the incredible mass that fills up the entire head. Uh, with the smaller horns, it doesn't quite do that, so this guy is definitely going to be 170 plus. If it's over 173, it should be our personal best, and 172.90, I think that still is our personal best. So this is definitely going to go in our main lodge, but the question is where do we put it? Because I don't exactly have a lot of room left, and I'm not going to replace the uh, brown one that we have, because it's our best one ever, and it's my favorite fur type, so it's never getting replaced, but I don't know. Not sure where we're going to put this guy, but it definitely needs to be in the lodge because this is the biggest black fur type bighorn I've killed, and a truly beautiful ram also. Well, now that we've found a couple cool trophies off of Rancho, I think once we pick up this jackrabbit, we shall head over to Verhonga Savannah, and that is actually a really big one. I don't know what max weight or max score is for these guys. I'm assuming it's like seven, but that right there seems to be a pretty big one. That is an awesome find. You know, I was more excited about the bighorn just because it looked so spectacular, but this is actually a really big jackrabbit too. And if we get one more nice antelope jackrabbit, whether it be a diamond or a rare, we can make a multi-mount provided the rare is a male. And that'll look pretty cool. So. Not bad, I went like 40 minutes without finding anything, and then we jump into this server and find two side by side. Not bad. Okay, so I say this almost every time I look at a female lion, but this almost looks like a blonde to me. So we're going to go ahead and take a shot at her if we can squeeze one in there. Now the only reason that we are on Verhonga Savannah now is because the 338 can't be used on anything on Rancho and trying to stick with kind of the dry desert arid style from Rancho I decided for Honga Savannah is probably the best fit it at least kind of goes along with a Rancho video so we're gonna see what we can get here I do hear a bunch of wildebeest so we're gonna try and catch up with that herd just in case there's something good there but first of all let's go ahead and grab our female lion it's most likely a common but I always take them out when they look a little bit light just in case it ends up being a blonde because the first blonde lion I ever killed I didn't even realize it was a blonde until I already shot it and that one right there kind of looks like it but unfortunately is just a common we managed to get left lung with that shot and take it down relatively quick so we have all of the wildebeest out but unfortunately they just started fleeing from something I'm not exactly sure what but none of these are really anything too impressive I mean this guy right here is a decent four, but he's not massive. And I think we can maybe get him. And we somehow got that. I'm actually kind of impressed that we even hit that shot, and now they're just stampeding everywhere. Luckily, we aren't in the way of the stampede. And I see why they were stampeding. Let's just take care of that real quickly. And that should stop anything else from spooking out of this area. Well, thankfully, we most likely won't have to be on this server for too much longer since we did manage to take out a few animals with the 338. And the reason I say that is because we just got the bug where we lost all of our audio. So good thing we managed to get a couple things down with the 338 because I can't hear my footsteps or anything anymore. Hardly at all. 
There is our level four blue wildebeest, 35.90. Not a bad one. Nothing crazy though. It was actually getting pretty close to being into that next weight range and those are the ones that usually have a decent chance of making diamond. We somehow managed to hit middle neck and lower neck. I don't know how we did that, but man, that is quite the shot. So I think we're gonna end up putting this little antelope jackrabbit right here until we can find a pair for him so that he can go into a multi-mount. Uh, for now, he'll just chill here, but he actually is a 6.81 as you guys saw, so he's a little bit above that 6.8 score. Now, as far as the bighorn, I don't even know where we could put him because a lot of our lodge is full and I don't really want to remove anything. Um, I guess we could check what this guy is. This is not our big albino, so I guess we could replace him. And yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I actually do like the way that looks. So I think we'll go ahead and leave him right here, but that is a really good looking ram. I really like the way that looks. And with the way the light is shining on him in this spot is really cool. I think that looks awesome. Yeah, that looks really good. I think this is the perfect spot for him, to be honest. All right, everybody. Well, that is going to be it for this video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with your favorite part of this video and what type of loadout you guys think we should use in the next video. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!